Hey, what's going on? It's Ian Hart here, and I'm the owner and creator of Back Pain Relief for Life, or co-creator, I should say, of Back Pain Relief for Life, and it's the world's simplest and most effective way to eliminate back pain fast and naturally, and that's the key point, naturally, and uh, we target the root cause of the problem so that it doesn't come back, and uh, I'm going to get into... Um, the solution or, or parts of the solution and how you can relieve your back pain uh, pretty quickly and then I'm also going to just explain to you um, other components to it. So, okay, first off, who am I and why should you listen to me? Again, I'm the, the co-creator of an internationally recognized back program called Back Pain Relief for Life. I also am the owner of two personal training facilities here in Beaufort, South Carolina. And my programs and I have been featured in New York One. I was previously uh, running large uh, training facilities in New York City. So you see me there in New York One. Um, I've been featured in Self Magazine with our programs uh, on Back Pain Relief for Life. Fox News, uh, GQ, OK Magazine, and Men's Health. I was featured in Men's Health as the expert veteran trainer and um, Cosmopolitan. So those are a few places that I've been featured in and that's not to brag, that's just so you know that I actually have um, a background in this. I've been doing this for a long time and that um, I have some credentials. So first off, there's numerous people suffering from back pain and it's You'll hear, hear the numbers 80% of the population. In fact, it's way more than that, and almost 100% of the population at some point in time will be suffering from back pain, whether it's the nagging, aching, spasms, shooting pains, debilitating, preventing them from feeding their families. Literally, people are in bed. They can't go to work. It's a, a, a source of lo losing billions and billions of dollars in the working and uh, uh, production because of back pain. And the other thing is I've suffered and I've tried almost everything. So I'm not only, uh, I've studied it for a long time, but I've actually been there. I've, I've dealt with back pain and um, it's something that needs to be managed. And uh, today I'm lucky that I have a solution and I feel grateful that I have the solution. And I'm going to try and transfer that to you as much as possible in this short presentation. So first off, what I've tried, I've done massage therapy, pain medicine, acupuncture, ultrasound, electric stimulation, the sheets of exercises that the doctor gives you, yoga, chiropractic, physical therapy, Pilates, osteopath, uh, this thing called kinesis myofascial integration, which was probably the best thing that I did, but it was extremely expensive. It was 12 sessions, $125, so right there, and I was young, and I was working at a, uh, at the time I was um, I was bartending and, and serving and I was using all my tip money just to get rid of my back pain and uh, luckily no surgery. First off, I want to go over the fact that almost all the solutions that I tried and most of the solutions that are out there are band-aid approaches and they cause more long-term back pain for the most part. Um, something as simple as pain medicine. Everybody's put on pain medicine and this is one of the worst things because first off, it detaches you from your mind-body connectedness, um, but it also decreases nutrient absorption. And that's one of the key components in back pain is there's not enough nutrients and blood flow to get to that area so you can recover and the back pain will be eliminated. And a lot of times it's a chemical imbalance and it's a neural issue. So the brain's connection to the body and the spinal cord. And um, it's also a leading cause of death. So you don't want to get hooked on painkillers because it does cause a lot of deaths. Surgery. That should be the last resort. Very, 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 like, like you're on your deathbed almost because it only has a 50% success rate. They actually have a term now that's called like failed back surgery or something because it fails more often than it succeeds. And again, you're going under the knife. You're taking six to eight weeks off of work or whatever you're doing because of the issue. Um, and you're bed, bed rest. And so your muscles are going to atrophy. Um, 
So that's a few things. Then you have adjustments, chiropractic adjustments. They can be useful, but again, it's it's not a it's going to make that adjustment, but what's going to happen is you're going to end up right back in the same situation because you're not addressing the root cause. Um, another thing is morning stretching, especially when the body is cold. It can be dangerous and can actually exacerbate the problem, and actually it'll make you feel good right then and there, but later on it can cause microtrauma and actually inflammation and um, you know scar tissue. So you don't want to do morning stretches, especially when cold. And then twisting and popping the lower back, um, you know, those things never work either. It's actually very dangerous. Um, the, the, the spine is not meant to be twisted like that, and you're not, you don't want to hear popping in the lower back. So what is causing so much back pain? Incorrect movement patterns are a major part of it. Sitting too long, this deactivates the glutes, and the glutes are a very important part of back strength, and, and, and they actually, if you have weak glutes, it leads to back pain because you'll compensate, and I'm going to get into that later, but standing in the wrong way and getting up wrong. Um, also, lack of nutrients, water, vitamins, and minerals. A lot of people today don't, they say, oh, I don't like water. Can I add something to it? Can I put this, this, this uh, special crystal light in it or whatever? They all have preservatives, additives, and all these things are causing inflammation. That's our body's not receptive to those things. So more vitamins, minerals, and water. All right, now lack of oxygen to the damaged nerves. This has to do with no recovery because people are sitting. So when you're sitting, there's a stress point in your back that is constant. And that stress point is preventing oxygen and nutrients from getting to your nerves. Then you have too much spinal flexion, the ab craze, which can be a part of it. A lot of people... Uh, are obsessed with doing crunches and they use these machines to do their abs when in fact they're not really targeting their abs that much they're um, putting stress on their lower back and their neck and things like that and um, they're causing more of a muscular imbalance because they already have an imbalance in that position and then they're again exacerbating that muscular imbalance so it's putting more stress on the back so uh, what's causing continued um, lack of knowledge and understanding about exercise science from general practitioners and general population. When you go to the doctor, they don't know what to do with your back pain. If you go to a specialist, um, a lot of times specialists are like spinal surgeons where they just want to give you spinal surgery. Um, but for the most part, uh, exercise um, or physical therapists, they're at least getting you moving to, uh, to really put you in, in the position or correct those imbalances you have. But the jo a doctor can only give you pain medication, maybe refer you to somebody that you know, which is what we do now. Doctors refer to our program because um, we have the most success. Um, people seek only seek Band-Aid approaches, and this drives me crazy because we have people come in with back pain, and all they want is a pill or um, you know something quick, quick fix, and there is no quick fix. So. Um, again, if you're really looking to eliminate your back pain, um, it can be done quickly, but again, I'm, I'm not going to try and say like it's done like, like take a pill and then it's gone. You have to put in just a little bit of effort, just a little bit of movement, and then that's it. And actually, you're going to get other benefits besides your back pain. Um, and lack of movement, general lack of movement. People are sitting all day, they sit in their car, they drive to Walmart. They maybe walk around for 20 minutes, and then they get back in their car, they go home, they sit on the couch. So more moving more and activating the muscles more um, it would help, but a lot of times people are just not moving correctly. But the number one cause of back pain is muscular imbalances. Okay, and I'm going to get into that, and that has to do with, a, that affects the pelvis, the spine. And we'll move on to the next one. So, what is muscular imbalances? It's basically a tug of war that's going on inside the body where you have opposing muscle groups they are incongruent one's stronger than the other so you have say your anterior muscle group is stronger and tight and posterior muscle group is weak and uh, there's pulling going on on the joints putting unnecessary stress on the joints so basically muscular imbalances 
um, it leads to compensation and movement and that leads to movement dysfunction which leads to a condition which then leads to pain so a condition would be sciatica um, spinal stenosis um, piriformis syndrome all those things that are causing back pain herniated discs um, etc so this is just a, an example of the pain cycle basically what this shows here is how any repeated stress, if you see the guy sitting down, I hope you can see this on the video, the guy sitting down, he has repeated stress and that stress point is ending up in the lower back because that's where a lot of the muscles cross and that's where the center of gravity is and there's a lot of pressure there. So that consistent stress causes damage and microtrauma on the nerves in the surrounding area. So there's a lack of blood flow, oxygen, nutrients to that area. It creates muscle atrophy in the back muscles and supporting the spine and again creates dysfunction in the body and compensation in movement patterns and then it all circles around muscular imbalances so right in the middle is muscular imbalances and then as you can see the arrow leads to the big circle of red pain which we want to prevent so what's happening with these muscular imbalances again it's causing microtrauma puts compression on the discs and the nerves prevents recovery it's unnecessary stress on the joints like a tug of war. Um, the anterior muscle group is stronger than the posterior chain. It causes herniated discs, sciatica, piriformis syndrome, spinal stenosis, etc. And it exacerbates the devil in the details by causing more dysfunction. And I'm going to get in the, into the devil in the details shortly. So the devil in the details are the minor issues that are causing major back pain. For example, sleeping wrong, okay? When you sleep, you want to generally be on your back, maybe put a pillow under your knees that's going to take stress off your lower back. But a lot of times, people sleep on their stomach, they sleep on their side, and there's pressure on their back the whole night. So, they sleep wrong, stress on their back constantly all night, then they get out of bed wrong, they're trying to protect their back, they stretch first thing in the morning, or they twist and pop to get relief. Then they go and brush their teeth and they're leaning hunched over, more stress on the lower back. Then they tie their shoes, they're leaning over, hunched over, stress on the lower back. They get in the car wrong. Then they sit wrong all day. They get up off the ground wrong. They pick things up wrong. They're standing wrong. And this gets just snowballs into a cycle that gets worse and worse and worse and worse and then eventually leads to a major issue. And we have to fight against those devils every day. Um, so again, it causes microtrauma and repeated damage. So it prevents oxygen from getting in there. And uh, at some point, I'll go over how to do all these things right. Um, I, I don't have time in this. In this, uh, I want to get you to these four exercises that you can do that will help. Um, so what does all this mean? First off, there's a lack of neuromuscular connection and motor control. Um, there's muscular imbalances that are creating these issues too, but almost 100% of the clients we see are totally disconnected with their body, and that's where the back pain comes from, and that's why exercise is important, and only a small percentage of the population actually does consistent exercise. Um, so there's no impulses to the core musculature and the injured area that support the spine. Um, and we go into this more in detail later. But I just want to explain what the neuromuscular system is in motor control. So good motor control and a strong neuromuscular connection is like high speed internet, right? Whereas bad motor control and weak neuromuscular system is like dial up, consistently interrupted and possibly not even sending the message because of these knots and fibrous tissue that are blocking the messages that are supposed to be sent to the rest of your body and the spine is a, is a pivotal point in those messages being sent around L4, L5, which is your lumbar spine. So impulses can be blocked by knotted fascia, trigger points, and the injury or damaged tissue, nerves, ligaments, and tendons impending, impeding on the function of the neuromuscular system can cause dysfunction and compensation, which causes more pain. So it's easy to see that Taking a pill or doing, um, you know, a, 
muscle popping or um, getting a, an adjustment is not going to fix the issue. You're, if you're sitting 10 hours a day, then just going some, getting some massage is not going to fix the issue. So what's the solution? Well, the generic stretches, if you've seen this, if you've had back pain for a while, you've probably seen these stretches. Um, they give you a sheet and says, do these movements. There's no method and there's no results with this. Um, again, if you just move, your back pain is going to feel better because you're going to get more blood flow and oxygen. So doing any exercise is going to help, but you want specific exercises that can really target the problem. So balance exercise routine and specific movements to balance out the muscular imbalances. So we want to break down bad movement patterns, correct it and create new movement patterns by activating weak muscles and stretching tight muscles, releasing fibrous knots that have been causing dysfunction and blocking impulses. So we want to improve the speed of your connection, your internet connection, which is the brain flowing to the rest of the body and speaking back and forth, going back and forth with each other, and involve the brain through the movements 100%. Remember, everything comes from our brain, everything. So you're responsible for everything that occurs on your body except for the um, you know, involuntary muscles and uh, organs. So we want exercise that create long-term relief. For back pain relief, we want exercises that break down the knots, improve the impulses around the discs and pelvis that transmit signals through the blocked or impeding areas of the back and pelvis and will allow for recovery and the pattern corrections. And you also want to warm up before any exercise. So right now I'm going to get into those four simple uh, exercises that will give you instant relief. We have the knee side dropout. And if you can't see these, we'll, we'll put them in a bigger picture so you can see the movements. It stretches the adductors. Basically you're dropping your knee out to the side you're stretching the inner thigh and you're, you're squeezing the glutes of your leg and then you're bracing it back up and you're going to repeat that for three sets of eights. What this does is opens up the SI joint, takes pressure off the joints in the, in the hip and the lower back and it creates a new pattern by activating the weak area and stretching the tight area. It affects the lower back right away so this targets the area right away. All right, then we have the single frog leg, and this is deeper activation of the core muscles. It takes more pressure off the discs and vertebrae. It loosens up the hip rotators, and all, again, all the muscles that are not being activated through sedentary lifestyle and even through um, just a regular lifestyle. So that you're bringing the knee into the chest. You're rotating it, dropping it out to the side, and kicking forward. When you're in this position, the starting position, you want to have your head propped up and both knees bent and feet flat on the floor and hands out to the side. I should have mentioned that before I started, but anyways. Okay, so then you have the chrysalis, which we call a chrysalis. It's similar to a butterfly stretch, which you might have seen. It's a static movement, and it's kind of the future of corrective exercises. It involves the whole body with em emphasis on the injured area and nerves. So every muscle has to be activated while you're doing this. When you're pulling yourself, you're basically pulling your forehead towards your toes and you want to get the proper um, balance between feeling stretching your lower back and inner thigh. Depending on how much your muscular imbalances are, you might only feel your inner thigh while doing this. That just means that the more you do this, the better off it's going to be. So you're going to hold this for three sets, 12 seconds, repetition. So hold it for 12 seconds, relax for 5, hold for 12, go a little bit further and don't bounce and just do a nice movement. Um, then we have the jackknife. It's similar to the chrysalis but it's larger muscle group and more posterior chain activation which means the total body, calves, hamstrings, lower back, upper back, even neck, even shoulders this helps. So you keep your knees locked, you reach for your feet, and you drop your forehead down towards your knees as close as you can, and keep your lower back in mind. Think about your lower back. You might feel everything in your body. This can, for someone who needs it more, they're going to feel this like tremendously, but just remember that the results from this are going to be incredible. 
um, right away you're going to feel um, relief from doing this. Other techniques for instant relief. Um, so those were the four exercises. And those, if you did them right now, right away, after you did maybe like a light warm-up, you're going to feel relief right away. You're going to feel, oh, wow, my pelvis feels loosened up. My lower back feels looser. You might be a little sore from it. Um, if you have really weak muscles and the next day it might be a tiny bit sore but remember that's part of the process that you're activating those muscles they get sore they recover at a stronger and better um, level and then you repeat the process so other techniques for instant relief again drinking more water pure filtered water um, and preferably alkaline water um, this will prevent any inflammation or reduce inflammation. Remember your body is almost all water. The discs in your spine are almost all water. So it allows for lubrication. It allows for transport of nutrients, oxygen, all those things. Better nutrition, more fruits and veggies and high quality if you can find, and it's not too expensive, for nutrients and natural inflammatories. So this prevents inflammation and they're natural inflammatories. Um, and eat less inflammatory foods. So finding out what you might be sensitive to as well. So if you're sensitive to dairy, then eliminate it. Everybody's sensitive to additives, preservatives, and gluten to some extent. Some are worse than others. But if you eliminate those things, you might see the issue um, be relieved slightly. Um, more deep breathing and relaxation techniques. Um, that'll just help People are in constant stress. They just hold their body they're tight all day because they're in fight or flight mode all day, which we're not used to being in. But because of all the constant stress and actually because of like the micro, uh, the electromagnetic fields that we're dealing with nowadays, all the Wi-Fi, and that puts st constant stress on the body. And a lot of people hold that stress and it, it ends up in the back. So reducing stress on the back through posture. Again, just correcting your posture, make sure you're, that you're, you're activating your abs when you're standing up straight, when you're sitting down, and uh, that's gonna help. So again, um, at work at home, um, we have the Back Pain Relief for Life program, um, which is the best thing to do at home when you're at work. Try to just walk some stairs and do some body weight squats or something just to get active so you're activating the glutes. Um, do some upper body stretches like chest, reaching back, holding it for 15 seconds just to loosen up the body. Um, and just ab activation things like punching yourself. <laughs> Everybody always gets freaked out, but activate your abs and then just kind of slightly hit your abs so you know that you're activating them. And that's going to just, just those little things help a little bit, especially when you're sitting down all day. All right, so. That's pretty much the end of the presentation. I hope this helped you out tremendously. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, again, our program that we've had tremendous success is backpainreliefforlife.com. Um, we have, with the number four, we have um, helped severe, severe back pain. People who could never, even were told never to uh, do cardio again. You're never going to be able to really enjoy life again if you don't, you know, have surgery or yada yada yada. And uh, they're now in the best shape of their life, no back pain, and the rest of their family's happy. And um, so, again, it's Ian Hart with the co-creator of Back Pain Relief for Life. Um, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Any comments or questions, leave them below, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And um, I hope this helped alleviate your back pain because I understand how back how debilitating back pain can be all right thanks and have a great day